We're joined by Missouri Kansas City head men's basketball coach Kareem Richardson. Coach, can you just start off with an, your overall thoughts and expectations on your team this season? Well, overall, we got a uh, very uh, new and inexperienced uh, crew of guys. We have um, 11 guys that haven't haven't played uh, a minute for us uh, while being at UMKC. So. Uh, it'll be interesting uh, expectations for the guys really um, you know our biggest expectations for the season or, or going into this season for our guys is, is really trying to learn how to how to compete um, as a team and uh, you know simply I mean it sounds kind of cliche but simply just learning how to play harder than any of our opponents and and uh, one of the other big things for us is, is learning to, to communicate and talk more and I think if we can get, get those things going in, in the right direction, um, I, I like where, where we are talent-wise, but obviously we know, you know talent doesn't always win it. Um, we got to be able to you know, buy into the, to the little things of things that we're talking about, of, of communication and simply just playing harder. Um, and so you know, th those are really our, our expectations going into this season for us. You, uh, you return WAC freshman of the year, Martez Harrison. Can you? You know, what do you expect from him this season? I really expect a, a bigger role in terms of uh, our leadership role, both on and off the floor for him. You know, he, he's, a, he's a tremendous uh, scoring talent. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's kind of neat even, you know, early in the year uh, thus far to, to see where he's uh, matured as far as his, his leadership role. And uh, we're going to certainly need him to continue to score the basketball for us. And, you know, it's, it's kind of in his nature to score. And, uh, but, but also along, to go along with his leadership role, we got to get him to become more of a, uh, a consistent defensive player for us. And uh, he certainly has uh, put that effort in and that commitment in uh, for us so far. Who else on your team do you expect to have a big impact? Well, that's a that's a great question with with so many new guys uh, on the roster. But you know, we named three our, our captains, and we have three captains. Martez being one of those, and and two other guys that were uh, named captains didn't play for us last year. And Shiak Shiak and and uh, Maurice Holiday. And so you know, with those two guys, along with with Martez, especially, we're going to really uh, need those guys. Uh, it's same thing with Martez, both on and off the floor, to step up and, and be leaders for us. Uh, and then also, we're going to need those guys to you know, score the basketball for us and, and also set a precedence for us on the, on the defensive end as well. So you know, with those three guys uh, of a core, and I could, I could go, down a, go down a list with, with uh, how many guys we're going to need. But I would say those, those guys are, are guys that we're really going to be, be needing to help us out. Coach, what's your perception of the league as a whole and how it stacks up to other conferences around the nation? Well, I think it's all relative. I think our league is a very competitive league uh, with with the members in our conference, and and uh, you know, obviously, be, being being involved in the league uh, last year for the first time, I was uh, really uh, you know surprised, pleasantly surprised with the athleticism of the league, and I I say this all the time. I think down to you know from top to bottom, we have some really really good coaches in the league. Um, you know I can you know go go down the list. So Dan Marley does a heck of a job. Obviously Marvin Menzies in New Mexico State. Dan Hipsher. I mean you go right down the line. I mean those are you know really experienced coaches. Um, you know Dick Hunsaker does a heck of a job, and so. Um, th that's what you know. The coaching is is really uh, along with athleticism, and it's it's um, you know we can we can compete in uh, with with that type of thing with anybody in the country. You guys are playing in 17 different states this year. <laughs> uh, can you just talk about how you approach that amount of travel? Well, we are, we're trying to get our frequent flyer miles up and uh, to be able to take a nice trip after the season. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, we, we were kind of uh, uh, we were talking and, and the, the conversation came up and uh, Stephen Davis, I think, was the first to bring it up and, and then Rob McCutcheon kind of followed up. And sure enough, uh, at least in our league, for sure, I know that's uh, the most states traveled. Uh, and so we'll, uh, I don't know if that's a, a, a good selling point to recruit or not, so we'll, we'll kind of, 
I guess that'll just be de be determined on um, how well we do in those states. So we'll we'll see. So we're we're, at, we're we're looking forward to it. Coach, in your first year as head coach uh, for the Kangaroos, there was a lot of improvement as far as wins go, and also the attendance at your games went up about thirty six percent. How confident are you that you can carry that momentum into this season, even with the young guys that you have on your team? Well, we're very, we're very confident, and uh, you know we have a long ways to go as far as uh, where we want to be in terms of our attendance and and uh, making municipal uh, one of the best home courts, uh, in not only in our league but in, in, in around the country. So, uh, we're, but no, we're we're excited, and I, and I really feel confident that fans in, in the city of uh, Kansas City, the people will enjoy the, our style of play. And, and um, you know, not only, you know, we, not only our style of play, but, but uh, you, know, you know, getting to the point of where we're, we're competing night in and night out uh, with a legitimate shot of, of winning games. So uh, we're, we're, we're uh, truly excited about where we can go. How do you feel about your team so far? Obviously, you haven't played any games yet. You've had a little bit of practice. Are there any players that have kind of surprised you based on what you've seen? Uh, any players you think that uh, their names are going to be heard a little more this season that we don't know about? Yeah, you know, a couple of the guys that we mentioned uh, earlier uh, with the Shiak, Shiak, and you know his his first uh, year of eligibility for us, uh, Maurice Halliday transfer uh, from Toledo, uh, go right down the line. Uh, you know, probably the. The most surprises uh, thus far, our biggest surprises in practice so far, have been probably more on the competitive side of Deshaun Taylor, uh, uh, freshman for us uh, from California, uh, tremendous competitor, um, especially on the defensive end. And uh, you know, I've kind of, you know, I think as a staff, we've been really pleasantly surprised with with how fierce of a competitor that he is. Really doesn't like to lose in the drills, and and he's making Martez better just by how he pushes him. And so that that's the kind of kind of thing that we need competition uh, within our practices uh, will certainly get us ready and, and um, you know where we need to be in our in the league and, and our non-conference schedule. Coach, there were some changes heading into last season as far as block charge calls and with some of the other stuff defensively. What was your perception of how that was handled and how it went as the year went along? I think as the year went along, it was uh, it got a little bit more consistent and. Um, I think it kind of started going back to the way it, it, it used to be called. I think early on it, it was an adjustment for a lot of teams, not only us, but but every team out there. The way they were calling the hand checks and and uh, you know those block charge calls. Uh, the other thing that I think kind of kind of changed as the year went along was the continuation early in the year. There was a little confusion on uh, are we going to go the NBA route for the continuation or are we going to go back to the college way? And and so I think things got a little bit smoother as a, or a lot smoother as a year went along and and teams knew what what to expect were you happy as it kind of shifted back towards the norm or do you think the game would be better off if they were made the more stringent changes no i i like the uh the change or going back to the way it was especially uh for teams like us that that uh our defense are you know pressuring and pressing and things we earlier in the year we were uh you know, we were getting some fouls that I, I thought were, you know, a, a little questionable, a little tight. And so for us, uh, with, our, with our pressing and different things like that, uh, I certainly I think it will be uh, beneficial for the, uh, you know, kind of going back to the way it used to be called. You have eight players on your roster from the Kansas City area. Uh, what's your secret to getting top high school uh, talent to stay local? Well, I think uh, the biggest secret for us is, is the kind of the brand of basketball we play. I think uh, people and, and kids are like the way like the way we play initially until they got to get in and do all the conditioning. <laughs> but uh, but no, I, I think they I think they like like our, our style and and uh, you know our our staff has done a heck of a job. I mean, I got to give our, our you know our staff a lot of credit for getting out there and, and uh, being visible. In the community, and uh, kind of, you know, getting out there and showing that that staying home uh, and going to UMKC is is what I like to say it could be a sexy thing. And so, um, you know, we're but we're you know we're continuing to uh, to to get our brand just even in our area. So we're we're definitely pleased at where where we're going.